Hi, entrepreneurs. My name is Galia Aharoni. I'm the founding attorney at Aharoni Business Law. Uh, we are a law firm based in Oakland, California, and we help uh, California-based employers or anyone doing business in California uh, with any business, employment, and intellectual property needs. So today, I wanted to talk to you about employee handbooks and why they're important. So it seems to a lot of people like employee handbooks are really more there for the employee and they know what to wear and they know when payday is and when they're expected to show up to work. But really, uh, in actuality, uh, these handbooks are a really important tool for the employer to prevent lawsuits and to strengthen your position if you did get sued. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. So first of all, how do these employee handbooks minimize lawsuits and uh, help you defend yourself if you end up in court with an employee lawsuit. So having employees in general increases your likelihood of being sued by many, many times over. There are so many laws and they're very complicated and it really increases your likelihood of getting sued, especially in the state of California where there are so many employee centric laws. So the most common employee lawsuits are harassment, discrimination, and retaliation. So let's use discrimination as an example here when we're talking about handbooks. Let's say you don't have a handbook. Someone claims that you are treating them differently than you are treating other employees, and it's because that they are a member of some protected class. How do you defend yourself? It's gonna be pretty difficult to defend your position, and you're really gonna to have to prove in any way you can that you treated them exactly the same way as you would have treated anybody else in that situation, which can be really hard to do and can be very expensive and very difficult, especially if you're in court. Um, Let's say you did have a handbook and someone claims that you treated them differently and are discriminating against them. You have a handbook, you have all of your written policies and procedures written down. And so if someone claims that you treated them differently than you treated anybody else, you can say, actually, take a look at the handbook right here. All of our policies and procedures are written down. We did exactly what we were supposed to have done in this situation. Therefore, we treated you exactly like we would have treated anybody else in this situation. So that really helps protect you in case of lawsuit to prove and makes it easier to prove that you did not discriminate, you were just following your procedures and that's how you would have treated anybody else. So it's a really powerful tool in situations like that. It also can prevent lawsuits, not just to help you defend one. So uh, there's a kind of a few different ways this can happen. First of all, your employees now know what the policies are. It means they're not going to break them by mistake and you have to end up being sued for something accidentally, um, for something you could have hopefully controlled. It also means that the employees and you know the procedure for reporting things and how to deal with situations. So for example, an employee feels that they are being harassed by another employee or by a client or anything like that, and they want to report it and bring it to the company um, for investigation and for, you know, to figure out what's going on and fix the problem. So now the employee, if there's a good like personalized policy, anti-harassment uh, policy, the employee can look at the handbook, they'll know exactly where to go, how to report it, what, what, to bring um, whom to take their evidence to um, and when. And then meanwhile, on the company side, you will now have a procedure in place. You will know exactly what to do as well. You'll know how to do a thorough investigation. You'll know how to respond and make sure how to treat that person and everybody involved in such a way that will minimize the impact and hopefully um, wrap it up as quickly and painlessly as possible um, and come to a resolution instead of you know escalating and making it worse by not knowing what to do or accidentally making it worse by not following the law by accident. Um, another main thing here that's going to help you uh, prevent lawsuits is it makes it a lot easier for you to discipline an employee if you need to, including let someone go. Because again, we have a written policy in place. The employees have absolute proof and evidence of what those policies are. The employees are going to know what the policies are. So if they do breach one of your internal policies or procedures, you have now proof that they knew what the rules were and that they broke it on purpose. So it's easier to discipline them. It's easier to let them go if you have to. And it's going to be easier to prove that you letting them go or disciplining them was because they breached those rules, not for any other reason, such as discrimination. So these are really important and are really a helpful tool for you as an employer. So how do you get a handbook? 
There are handbook builders online and some templates that people do use that they find online. But I do want to mention that in my experience, it's very, very important to have a handbook tailored specifically to you and your business. Every single business is different. Every single business has different needs and different policies and different procedures that you follow and should have written down. And I strongly believe that a handbook that doesn't match what your company actually does is almost worse or even worse than not having a handbook at all, which is also bad because it's going to remove all of that usefulness we talked about earlier um, as proof of your policies and procedures. So, um, you know, you don't have proof anymore of what your policies and procedures actually are if you're not following it. And even worse, if you're doing something different than what the handbook says, now there's evidence that you're actively ignoring your own policies, which is going to look really, really bad in court and really hard to defend. So it is really important to have one made, especially for you. Another reason why it's really important to have one made for you is also because the laws are constantly, constantly changing. You don't want to accidentally get a template online that's super outdated or that's for a company that's a little bit different than yours, or you don't want to make a handbook yourself and then have the law change six months later and you don't realize it and now your handbook is you know has a has a policy that's illegal in it um and that that would be a, a tragedy so the best practice here really get one personally written just for you and update it every single time either an internal policy changes or an external law changes and so that means you have to be pretty vigilant and paying attention or having an advisor uh in your business life that can inform you when laws change that apply to you so you know because there's layers of federal and state and county and city law that are constantly changing really every few months and you want to make sure that your handbook is up to date so it's still useful um we know that updating every single time a law changes or policy changes can be really difficult to do so we, we recommend if you can't do that at least at least once a year you know january comes along when you're updating all of your other um, documentation, take a look at your handbook or check in with a lawyer, see what needs to be updated based on internal changes or changes in the law, okay? Um, if you are hiring a lawyer to do one for you, it's true that handbooks can end up being very expensive. And the reason why is because, like I said, every single business is completely different. We can't just print out one that we did for somebody else and give it to you. We're really drafting the entire thing from scratch for you to make sure that every single policy and every single procedure is what you need and matches what you do and what your company should be doing based on the industry and the number of employees, etc. So it does take a lot of time to put a really good handbook together for you because each of them has to be drafted specifically for you. But when you think about it in the bigger picture, if you don't have a handbook and you do end up in court, the alternative might be a lawsuit, which uh, even if you win, can be tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars, not to mention the years of stress um, and time that you have to put into it. So I really consider these handbooks an investment in the future of your business um, because it can really make the day-to-day -day run more smoothly, but it can also prevent huge lawsuits in the future if it's done right. So. We at ABL strongly believe that whether you have one employee or 100 employees, these handbooks are absolutely necessary to protect you and your assets and your business uh, and really help you succeed in the long run. So if you'd like to find out more about whether a personalized handbook would benefit you and your business, please feel free to hop on over to ahuranybusinesslaw.com and contact us. Uh, otherwise, we will see you next time. Bye.